Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Stargo, and I'm saying like cool. I'm back with another video. And if you're new, make sure you go subscribe, be part of the Stargo family, and subscribe down below and turn on your post notifications so you get alerted when I upload a video. And guys, yesterday we witnessed a shocking fight where Dylan White got knocked out by Povetkin in the fifth round. And um, everyone has been wondering what happened, like what happened, what happened, like what was it sick was it his body see bomb squad to this day um he just did a interview with kai sport boxing so let's see what he has to say well, it was an incredible cool. end to what's been a crazy week here at Fight Camp. We've uh, seen a massive upset last night, obviously. Well, some might say it was an upset, but Dillian, we knew upset, Alexander man, guys. was going to be a very, very dangerous customer. Yeah, yeah, you know, obviously, he's a very um, dangerous guy, you know. Um, I was bossing a fight, I was winning a fight, and I just, um, I just got caught. It's one of those things here with boxing. So, like, I got beat up rounds after rounds, and, you know, it just... True, true, true. Just got clocked, that's all, you know. Um, he dipped low, I shoot the hook, he came with the uppercut. You know, and, and that was it. Guys, you can see it here, yeah, like, he he doesn't seem like himself. Because normally, you know what, he's, he's bold. But this right now, he looks like he's, he's being tormented. Like, guys, let's carry on. But it's all good. The main thing is, we got a rematch. We're going to try and exercise the rematch. Okay. Get it done before, by Fair the end enough. of the year. Have a couple weeks rest and get straight back in the gym and... um. It's not like, oh, I need to improve on anything, really, you know what I mean? That has to just be a bit more switched on okay. in, in certain stages. Yeah, guys, he's having the fight rematch, um, hopefully this year. But the question is, how is he going to improve from that? Because don't forget, this is um the same punch that he got, like, knocked out with when he fought Joshua. So, it's happened again twice. So, what's going to happen at the moment? So, what's he going to do? That's my question for him. And clock onto his pot and a bit better, you know. When he dip low, you know, I realize you can't put the hook or the uppercut. So it's a simple adjustment to make. Any Sim regrets about simple. taking the fight itself? Because we talked a lot beforehand about the possibility that you could have just sat back and, and waited for your chance. But you wanted to have this fight, didn't you? I have no regrets. It was a great fight. You know, obviously, Pavekin done well. You know, um, like I said, I know I can beat him. I know I could beat him. I know um, I showed up from, the, from round one. You know I mean? From round one, I was getting mm -hmm. on to him. But you know, obviously he's very he was, experienced he was, guy. He was, he was. And he pulled he pulled um you know, it's like his car was on the verge of pulling him out. Yeah. And he pulled out one of the best punches of his career. But that's that's a bit boxing, it's just full of drama, ups one and punch. downs, you know, you one have punch. someone beat you and I don't want him to rush him in the fourth round because he's quite dangerous when he's hurt. He swings quite big punches mm -hmm. and big hooks he and does. stuff. But he does. I thought it was boxing well and you know, I done, I done good man. It seemed like you were just annoyed with yourself really at the end of the fight for, for having got tagged with that. Yeah, I was. I was, I was a little bit annoyed because yeah, you, you have to it's be. a silly mistake. I blocked have the punch a hundred times in training, you know, and um, the one time, you know, one time um, okay. it needed to be blocked. I was a little bit too late okay. to block it, you know. I decided to count instead of blocking it, and then that's what happened. You know? So he's worked on it before. He was on his last legs and I was pressing him as well, so. What is it? It's heavyweight boxing, man. It's one of these. It is one of these. You've said to us many a time that you're still learning and, and this was going to be another learning fight for you mm -hmm. so that's another big lesson in many ways i guess is it yeah i'm still one of the top heavyweights around you know what i mean it's not like oh i'm old or i'm beaten up i'm still one of the top heavyweights around and i'm still learning you know what i'm still learning i learned a, a, a harsh mistake last night true man but it's all good you know i'm, I'm still upbeat i'm still the same me i'm still ready to go and um you know uh, and i can't wait to get back in and god really we can get using the rematch in the next week or so and, and get the ball rolling. So is it one of those where you're just going to hold your hand up and, and say fair play to, to perfect him for pulling that incredible yeah, punch from, enough, from yeah, seemingly yeah. nowhere? Yeah, no, no, to. fair play to him, of course. Yeah, fair mm -hmm, play to him. Mm -hmm. you know, he landed the punch. He set it up and he landed the punch. So um, fair play to him. I can't really say, oh, yeah, it was this. I had a great camp. Everything was good. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't say, oh, yeah, um, this was wrong or that was wrong. Mm -hmm. Who was trading and he landed. That's all. You know, fair play to him. Good fighter. Mm -hmm. Defeat a lot of top guys, and like I said, he's still hungry and he's still motivated. But I know one million percent I can beat him. 
I you can. Much, I'll, I'll handle business. You can. You've had setbacks before in your career yeah. and you've always bounced back from them. So Come this on, is bro. just another one. Yeah, story of my life. Set back up the setback. But no, it's all good, man. You know, I'm just grateful to have um, all the support I have on other British fans and the fans around the world behind me. I'm, I'm so grateful. So, so grateful to everyone. And thanks to all of you guys as well for supporting me and believing in me, man. We've enjoyed it, we really have, and it's been great working with you. But the plan now, I guess, is just to, you're going to go back to Portugal, have a couple of weeks off, and then get straight back on it for training. Yeah, I spend some time with my family and stuff and see people I haven't seen in a long time, and then um, two weeks and get straight back into training and just, um, you know, just come back. I, I'm already in good shape. I already have a good camp, so it's not like mm -hmm. I need another 12, 15 weeks, no. Yeah. You know, 10, 10, 12 weeks, and I'm, and I'm, I'm good, I'm ready to rock. And how long do you think it'll be before we maybe get that date sorted? Because we're, we're talking maybe, what, December, November, something like that, do you think? Yeah, December, November. So let's see, obviously, you know, I had a little chat to Eddie this morning. Let's see what happens. Obviously, there's other fights going on, but let's see. This is a big fight. And um, you have to strike where the iron is at the time. It's not to strike. There's no point waiting mm -hmm. into next year, you know what I mean? Obviously, you know, mm -hmm. he's in shape, I'm in shape. You know, let's get it on. Immediate rematches are usually fire. Well, Dillian, thank you very much indeed for speaking to us. Uh, we uh, wish you the best of luck and uh, we wish you the best in, the, in Portugal to, for getting back onto things. Why is, um, yeah, you heard him say that he's, um, there's, no, there's no excuse at the moment, so there's no excuse at all. Like, it's not, it's not his, his jacket that's his suit. It's not his suit or anything, so it's, it's just um, normal. It's just normal, so things happen, things happen, and it's minor. So, um, I pray he gets back from this. Man. I think what he needs now take a break, go on holiday with your family, anything, just um, take some time off, off, and build yourself back up mentally as well because that affects you a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Because if you don't, you might fix, um, you might walk on the things that happened the first time and try to block the shots more often, but if you don't work on yourself mentally first, you will find yourself um, being scared in the fight. Like you start having flashbacks, flashbacks that can upset you, which can make you forget to block another time because obviously your mind is somewhere else that you're thinking of the flashbacks. So I think he just needs to just. Um, heal mentally first before anything happens because that I think is the biggest part. Guys, what do you think of him so far? Do you think he can still um come back? Come back and do you think he, he still has a chance against Paul Belkin? Let me know about down below. Yeah guys, it's DM Boys Tago and peace out man. Take over yourself. He ain't coming for gay no 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 he ain't coming to play no 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 he ain't coming for gay no 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 Stuck a work bombing.